Hey guys, welcome to episode number 257. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today, I wanted to talk about diatom filters, or DE filters, or diatomaceous earth filters. It's all the same thing. Uh, this is actually a tip that I picked up at Macna, where a lot of water was cloudy, because a lot of tanks were set up very quickly. And uh, one vendor had a solution for that, and that was to use a diatom filter. Now, diatoms are basically the fossilized remains of uh, you know, diatom algae. They're very, very small. Uh, it's mostly made of silica, and uh, essentially what it does is it coats the inside of your filter wall and acts as a very, very fine, uh, you know, particulate matter that everything in your aquarium is going to have to filter through. Uh, so let's just walk quickly through a diagram of how it works and uh, why it's good to use um, to polish your water. So uh, the first thing we have here is a filter intake. I mean, we're going to want a pump uh, that has some sort of filter screen that's typically going to sit in your sump. That's going to take your water in. When you first start this up, what you're going to do is place your diatomaceous earth in and around this filter so that the filter actually sucks up the diatomaceous earth and then it blows it into some sort of canister uh, filter. It needs to be something that has a very fine like micron mesh uh, to the inside of it and that diatomaceous earth is then going to coat the inside lining of that mesh filter and it's going to bring it down to about one micron in size and that's small enough that all of your algaes uh, anything that's you know cloudy in your water is basically going to get stuck uh, to the side of all of this diatomaceous earth. It's also jagged, uh, so if it's something that's living, it could get ripped open and killed. Um, so it's it's uh, you know definitely something that will uh, take care of any of the small uh, living life in your tank that you want to get rid of. Um, and essentially what happens is the pressure in this allows the water to pass through that one micron um, screen and then the water gets pushed back out and back into your sump. Uh, obviously it's part of a larger filtration system uh, and it's actually something that will get clogged up fairly quickly because of the very small micron size here of the diatomaceous earth but essentially what happens is anything that passes through that barrier is going to get filtered out to a very 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 fine um, point and essentially that's how a DE filter works uh, I saw it clear up a tank it was like a hundred gallon tank it cleared up the water overnight it was cloudy when it first got set up and uh, the diatomaceous earth took care of that if you have a tank that is uh, you know laden with algae and it's so green you can't see through it setting up a diatomaceous earth filter like this uh, could cure that overnight and uh, it's definitely not something that you can really set up long term uh, because it does get clogged so often it would just be a lot of maintenance but uh, if you're ever in a situation where you really need to polish your water um, because something is out of whack. A diatomaceous earth filter is definitely something to consider. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.